Hey guys, today we're going to take a tour inside the massive ABBA house. Let's get right into it. Many music fans dream of owning a piece of their favorite band's iconic history, but what about owning a property previously owned by one of the world's most famous bands? If you have nearly $4 million to spend, you could be the proud new owner of a sprawling waterfront estate in Florida once owned by ABBA. The 1982 home is located in the upmarket island community of Tierra Verde in Florida and was reportedly purchased for the Swedish four-piece to escape to during the cold London winters. According to reports, the Swedish hitmakers once owned this stunning Florida property, which is now on the market for the first time in nearly 40 years. According to Property Records, ABBA's longtime financial manager, John Spaulding, is named on the deed to the home. He reportedly purchased the property on the band's behalf to use as a winter retreat until it was sold to the current owners. The property description reads, Imagine the band members arriving at the home under the Grand Port de Cochere and beginning their time away from London in this home. Custom designed for relaxation and fun. This one-of-a-kind home at 873 2nd Avenue South offers waterfront views and direct access to Tampa Bay and the Gulf of Mexico. It was built in 1982, and with the exception of recent updates such as a renovated guest bath, a new roof with skylights, and battery-ready solar panels, the property is frozen in time. Thank 80s-inspired decor and subtle nods to the pop group that once lived there. The 4,500-square-foot home is ideal for a large family or those who entertain frequently. It is six bedrooms, four full bathrooms, and two half baths. The house is divided into two identical mirrored floor plans with a downstairs master suite, loft area, and two bedrooms with a Jack and Jill bath on each side. A large community space is framed by two-story vaulted ceilings, an impressive stone fireplace, kitchen, dining area, and Florida room with views of Tampa Bay and beyond as you first enter the home. The scandy style decor is also visible on the inside with a wood paneled ceiling and a built-in hot tub in the Florida room. The main living room has luxuriously high ceilings and a large stone fireplace that dominates the space, so it may look a little coastal grandma right now. The current decor in the rest of the house is minimal and simple, if slightly dated. The open, two-story living space's lower floor opens onto a darker all-wood kitchen while upstairs is a fairly spacious office room. A large pool deck provides plenty of space for entertaining outside. The property has two separate two-car garages as well as electric shutters or plexiglass covers on all windows and sliders. It's the ideal base for fun and relaxation because it's located in the sought-after Tierra Verde Enclave. The home's design, which the estate agent describes as suspended in time, was inspired by traditional Swedish longhouses as evidenced by the long, slightly more narrow appearance it maintains to this day. However, the current owners have made some recent improvements, including a new roof with skylights to welcome plenty of natural light, as well as solar panels to help its future owners save energy at home. It also has electric shutters and plexiglass covers to protect the windows and sliders from hurricanes. Incredibly, original ABBA recording equipment and tapes remain completely untouched inside the home. Listing agent Lisa Farmer with Premier Sotheby's International Realty said, We found the architect and spoke to him on the phone. He said he was in a trailer on the site before the home was built with both couples, all four members of the band face-to-face -face designing the home. She then said, at the time, he didn't realize it was ABBA until a few days later when he got a call from a reporter in London who apparently got wind of it. She then continued, he said he met with two Swedish couples and that's how he found out it was ABBA. Farmer continued, what's super cool is there were some things left behind in the house from the band. There's some stereo equipment that the people who bought the house never even used. The 4,527-square-foot home in Tierra Verde, Florida was long thought to be the band's residence, but its ownership was never confirmed. Thousands of theories about the home's ownership have been published online by the band's fans and internet sleuths in recent years, but the long-running rumors were proven true when the architect who worked on the project and a journalist confirmed he designed the house alongside the megastars. The house's original deed also includes the name of the group's financial manager, John Spaulding. Farmer said, It's a fact now. I knew it was real. The children of the current owners knew it was real. The neighbors knew it was real, but talking to the architect was the final fact. She then said, I think it would be pretty cool for somebody to own a property with that kind of past and history. The home was the most expensive sale in Tierra Verde at the time, according to local agent Randall Arena, who worked with the original listing agent, who is now deceased, and while he never met any members of ABBA, Spalding represented the group on the transaction. The 4,527-square-foot home has six bedrooms and six bathrooms, and you'll need money, money, money to buy it, as the estate is currently asking $3.9 million. 
quite the expensive home, but most things like that go for a lot of money, whether it's small or big items. That's all for today, and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.